Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. Back again, I got George's Telecaster over here and I've got one ring basically installed and I'm gonna show how to do the second one in just a bit. So, here's the ring. Got the chrome, got the uh, fender welt around it. And uh, yeah, so I got something I'm gonna put inside of here and then I'll be filling that up with the epoxy resin. So right now I want to get to this side and work on this one and kind of show you how you do it. So what I've got here is a piece of the fender welt. And one thing that I have to do is I have to heat this, okay, so I can get it to bend really good. Now this piece here is a smaller piece. It's a test piece. The actual piece that I'm going to be using is right here. So what I end up doing is I put this in the hole, kind of fit it in place. Now you can see it doesn't want to stay, it's not going to, so I end up, I use the uh, CA glue to help me along with this. So this one here, it's going to fit in there like that, but this is not the right one. And what I want to do is I want to see if I can get the ring inside the hole where I want it. If I can't do it, then I need to trim out the hole a little bit bigger in order to fit this in there. So as you can see, you know, it kind of spreads apart a little bit. Well, that's because that this is not the right size welt for this hole. Like I said, that one is. So it fits in there pretty good. But I need to trim out the hole just a little bit bigger. So what I do is I get this piece of sandpaper and kind of go around the hole a little bit with it. And I just open it up just a little bit at a time. I probably can use the Dremel to do this or so, but I like to do things a little bit the hard way. So, by hand it is. I got a little bit of a flat spot right there. I'm trying to round that off a little bit. Get the dust out of there. Put the welt back in and then fit the ring inside there again. Now it is a tight fit, so it's not just going to drop right in. So I got some trimming to do. Get this thing to open up a little bit more before I can finish it off like I did this one. All right, so before I get too far ahead of myself, which I'm kind of known for doing that a little bit sometimes. Uh, I want to fill this one up and get this one started so it starts sealing and starts to adhere to the ring and everything else. So what I've got going on is I have some epoxy that I've been mixing up already. And I only want to fill this halfway because i got something I want to put in the center of this. And then I'll fill up over that to seal it up inside there. So right now... Got my epoxy mixed, and yeah, I'm using a screwdriver because a screwdriver can hold quite a bit of epoxy as I put it in there. And I want this to kind of spread itself out, it's kind of level itself. certain point I want to get to before I stop. I think that's about it right there. If I get any around the edges or something like that, I can easily wipe that off. Now I want to put a little bit more inside there, not too much more, but a little bit more. And I 
I think I've got where I want it to be. Just a little bit more. All right, that's it. Wipe off the screwdriver. And then I take my torch and get rid of all of the air bubbles. I want that to dry solid too. Alright, so I'm just going to let that cure up. It's pretty much level all the way around. And once that gets, starts to get hard to the touch, uh, I've got something I'm going to put in there. And then I'll be mixing up some more epoxy and pouring that and sealing it all together. So I just want to make sure all the air bubbles are gone. And it looks like it's going to be be all right all right so I'll just have to wait for that to set up before I could put the little something inside there and then uh, it'll look like it's suspended inside there not laying flat up against the bottom or anything actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more epoxy to this because now it's leveled out a little bit spread it out a little bit. I want to kind of make sure it's up to a spot where I want it to be. Now the chamber is hollow underneath this and it is sealed. If I was to, if there was a hole someplace, there would be some type of a air bubble coming through as the epoxy was seeping into the other side of this and there is not pretty much sealed. Yeah, a little bit more. Alright, now I think I got it where I want to be. Alright. sure that there's nothing going on over here. Okay. Seal this the air bubbles out of it again. And just let that cure. So that'll probably take about uh, three or four hours to cure up to uh, to the touch to where it'll, I can put something inside of there and it'll be suspended instead of uh, kind of like floating to the bottom. That's about it for now.